happy 2019. I literally cannot believe we are here right now. I'm filming another video for you guys on one that YouTube grind. Mm -mm. So today I am bringing another chatty get ready with me. I go from start to finish and I created this look. I've done a whole new eyeliner technique. I'm trying out some brand new products and I also show you how I created my kind of an effortless bouncy waves using no heat whatsoever so it's a really nice way to do your hair every single day without damaging your hair so if you guys want to see how i created this look please keep watching okay guys so we're gonna get started i'm gonna actually do my hair i literally just got out of the shower and i let it air dry but i'm actually gonna go and use some rollers i haven't used rollers in a long time i'm pretty sure you can buy these on amazon they're like extra large rollers if i can find it i'll leave it down below in the description but i'm gonna put in three rollers just on the top to give myself a bit more volume just gonna section out my hair so i'm gonna start with the front the front is the most important this is like the most basic hairstyle ever to get a little bit of volume and then i basically put it at the back like this and i slide it all the way down until i catch all of the ends if you put your ends all horrible and like you just shoved it in there it's gonna be all crepey and horrible at the end so try to like take some time in this bit you know i've got so much fly away so i'm trying to like scoop it in as i roll just like that I'm just going to use a hair grip. To be honest for me, the more hair I can shove in this, the better for me. And then I've just got one more section at the back. This is like the crown of your hair, so you kind of want this to be nice and volumized. Make sure you comb out the hair so there's no knots. I get so many questions about my hair and how I grew it out and stuff like that. I feel like because I have Asian hair, it just grows quicker. Also, I know for a fact that because I just dye my hair black, it's not as damaging. If you have blonde hair or if you bleach your hair, you're guaranteed to have some dry ass ends and then when your ends are dry that's when it snaps off and that's why your hair doesn't grow so i put my two fingers like this and then i just roll it up as if my finger is a roller and then i roll it underneath i'm just going to use clips like this just clip it in like that okay i'm going to do the other side and then we'll get into the tutorial okay so now that my hair is up and looking a bit crazy i literally look like i've got like a, a botched bob right now it looks a bit crazy but don't worry guys it's gonna look cute hopefully at the end fingers crossed okay so i'm gonna start off with my skin i'm gonna go in with the mac strobe cream so this is in the shade gold light i've never used this before i've only ever tried the original shade of strobe cream it's meant to give you like a nice glow, you know? Okay, I'm gonna be right back because this robe is so hot. So for foundation today, I want a nice full coverage because I've got so much scarring on my face at the moment. So I want a good coverage. I'm gonna go in with the Jure High Coverage Essential Cream Foundation and then do a pump of the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. So make sure you shake up this foundation because otherwise it goes out really thick. And then a pump of my Giorgio Armani. I'm gonna use my Sapphire Beauty Blender the best beauty blender of them all. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pat this all over my skin. Okay, so I just applied on my foundation on all over and it's giving me hella coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with concealer. Next is the KKW number six concealer. I'm just gonna put this on underneath my eyes. This gives hella good coverage and it brightens really, really well. It was actually featured in my 2018 favourites. So make sure you go check out that video. It was the video just before this one. Oh, I just put myself in the eye. Okay, so I'm going to use another beauty blender. And then I'm just going to buff this out. This gives such good coverage. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to powder my skin next. And I'm going to use this powder all over. I haven't used this for ages. It's from EX1. It's in shade number 6. And it's like a loose powder with a bit of colour in it. So I'm just going to generally set all over and then I'm going to bake a bit after. Oh my god, this colour might be a bit dark. This powder is really nice because it gives you coverage as well. Okay, so I'm just going to contour my face before I start baking. So I'm going to go in with the Sculpting Powder from Kevin Aquan in the shade Light. I know you're meant to use cool tones to contour, but sometimes it looks a bit too grey on my skin tone, you know? Okay, I'm just going to contour my cheeks as well. Okay, and then just underneath my eyes, I'm going to bake with the KKW powder. I'm going to use a dry sponge. I like to bake right next to the contour so that it's nice and like straight and it just snatches in that contour, you know? Okay, I've got my eyebrows on, nice and full and bushy the way I like it. And I'm going to go in with the Cheeky Bronze Bronzer by MAC. It's like a mineralized skin finish, but it has a really nice peach undertone to it. So I actually found out that Wendy Williams uses this blush us. If it's good enough for Wendy Williams, it's good enough for me. Okay, I'm just going to buff away that baking. Basically, I just push it into the skin to give me extra coverage. I'm just going to put Fix Plus all over my skin. Oh, 
And every time I see my face like this, I'm like, ah! We have to leave it and let it set. I'm gonna use my fancy fan that I got from Amazon. Okay, and then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with this highlighter from ColourPop and Becky G. I actually don't know who Becky G is. I feel like she's really famous and everyone was like freaking over her collection. But I was like, I have no idea who she is. I think she's like a singer. I'm gonna go in with 18K4. This is actually such a nice highlighter. I was using it the other day and I was like, damn, yes. When I was using it, I was like, damn, it's such a nice like golden undertone. It's beautiful. It really reminds me of the Fenty Fairy Bomb highlighters, the golden one. It's like a really good dupe for it. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take a little bit of this loose blusher by NARS. It's the Orgasm Loose Blush. And it's like a really nice rosy, goldy blusher. Oh my God, do you see that? I just highlighted all my pores. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh my God, maybe don't do that if you have super large pores. Okay, so on my eyes, I'm gonna go in with a Kat Von D palette. This is the Lolita palette. Mm. The only thing in here is literally all matte, so I wouldn't be able to do like a full look with it, but I was really inspired by like these kind of tones. So we're gonna do something along that line. So I'm using that purple shade right on the outer crease. The eyeshadow is very powdery though, like hardly tap that at all and it's literally like so much powder. It's really hard though because you want a lot of pigment but sometimes when there's too much powder that falls out it's a bit annoying. So I'm going to work this almost like it's a cut crease but not really. I just want to make sure this bit is as dark and as smoky as possible. Okay, so I'm just working this colour right into the crease here. Like, this eye looks so much saggier than this eye. I need to bring this eye up higher. I always end up getting one saggy eye and then I have to pose only in one direction. It's so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to use the shade Lolita. These colours as well, I'm finding when I put it on my eyes, it's coming out a lot darker. Like, I've only used this shade here. Look how dark it looks on my actual eyelid. It looks like I use this shade, but I haven't. I really want to start doing vlogs on my channel, but I feel like if I just start to do weekly vlogs, you guys might be annoyed because that's not what you guys are subscribed for, right? You guys are subscribed for like beauty videos and stuff. And I don't think it's fair that I just automatically change up my content. So do you guys prefer maybe like to start off with monthly vlogs and then see how it gets from there? Or do you prefer maybe if I do it like maybe twice a month rather than doing that like, every week. It seems like whenever I upload vlogs, you guys seem to like them as well. So it's like a double-edged sword, guys. I have no idea what I actually want to do, but I just don't want to switch my content up too much and then people will get annoyed and then not watch anything at all, which is like the last thing that I want. Do you guys have any other channels that you think does it really, really well? Like a mixture of beauty videos as well as vlogging? Let me know, guys. I'm open to all suggestions. One of the questions that I got asked is if I could talk more about YouTube and how to grow on here. I actually am going to film a whole kind of playlist about YouTube. I'm just trying to get my bearings around it because I learn new stuff every single day. I feel like that would be really, really useful because I guess you know, now that it's a new year, a lot of people would want to maybe start YouTube and start social media and stuff like that. So I really want to do something that would really help you guys out. Like, there's so many things I wish I would have known at the start. A lot of people was asking me, like, should I quit my job and then start YouTube or should I do my job and start YouTube on the side? 100% do YouTube on the side. I feel like a lot of people think that YouTube is, like, a big money maker. And I think maybe before it used to be, like, a big money maker, but... I've been doing this for two years now, guys, and I can honestly say, hand on my heart, I hardly make any money from this. I will probably say from AdSense, I get, like, under £300 a month. Apparently, before, you used to make a lot of money through AdSense, but now... YouTube has changed. I know if you are signed to like an MCN, like a multi-channel network, they actually take like 15% out of your adsets, but you get better ads that plays on your videos. For me, I don't do YouTube because I want to make money from it. Like I feel like I will make money from YouTube eventually, but I know I have to put in the hard work and the grind now. And also when you get invited on trips and stuff like that, they look at your overall following. So they normally combine YouTube and Instagram together and that will tell you your overall following. The more eggs you have, in each basket the better you know this makeup is going a little bit smokier than i expected but we're going to roll with it i'm going to go in that darker shade now i'm just going to work in this crease and make it a bit more 
depth like how it was before. A lot of people ask me about my hair routine. I actually don't have hardly any hair routine at all. I thought maybe I'd just show you guys a quick little heatless hairstyle that I'm doing today because I'm going out. But apart from that, I don't do much to my hair. I always use a detangler. So I love this one from Mane and Tell. It's a detangler. It's the best detangler ever. So good if you have long knotty hair. But apart from that, I hardly put any heat on my hair. I mostly let my hair air dry. I don't even blow dry it. I hardly ever straighten it because my hair is naturally straight. I feel like a lot of people have naturally wavy hair. And if I did, I would 100% just leave it. Embrace the frizz, guys. Frizz is great. Just put a bit of argan oil in it. Put it in a bun. Day to day, you know, you don't need to do anything crazy to your hair. I feel like there's a lot of people that straighten their hair every day. And I'm just like, oh my God, he's got time for that, you know. Okay, so now that I've blended out my top eyeshadow, I'm just going to blend out my lower lash line before I put on my lid colour. I'm going to use these two shades here. I'm just going to buff this right underneath my lash line. This is so pigmented, so I'm really scared to get this everywhere. I'm just going to blend it out with a little bit of Lolita shade, just so it's not as harsh. On the other eye, I'm going to try to do my eyeliner first, so I don't know if I'm liking this. I'm going to go with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Blackberry. I'm going to put this on both eyes, but I'm going to try to put it on first. The fine liners by Marc Jacobs are great because their pencils are so nice and thin. It's so easy to put inside your waterline and it stays all day as well. You see the difference with just putting liner and then smoking it out? You need to smoke it out a little bit. Okay, so I just blended out that bottom eye and this one works so much better. So next time I need to remember, put the eyeliner first and then smoke it out. I tried to do the other way, but I felt like the shadow was going a lot lower. You know what I mean? So we're going to go with some new products that I just got. And look how cute this is. Oh, so good. This is from Peaches Makeup. And on the inside, it's a little tin. Oh, in here, there's loads of pigments. And there was a colour called Gatsby that I thought was so pretty. Okay, this is the shade called Gatsby. Okay, now this is so cute. The only thing is the packaging is so small though. How tiny this is, it's exactly the same size as like the matte sample pots. It just looked like such a pretty shade that I want to do a look with this. I also got the glitter base. So I feel like it's only right to try the base with the glitter. So I'm putting a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to get a bit of the base on my brush. So I mainly want it to go on my inner corners. And then I'm just tap, tap, tapping to make sure that the glitter is going to be nice and dispersed at the same time. Bit of that glitter. Ooh. So this is like a glitter, but it's almost like a foil at the same time. Ooh, sparkly. This glitter is actually so fine. You probably don't even need an eyeshadow base because it's super, super fine. I need to just say that this glitter base is really good because it doesn't foil the glitter. Sometimes you'll find when you get some glitter bases, when you put the glitter on top, it turns it into like a really like wet pigment, which you don't want. I want to be able to see glitter particles which this one does so good on you peaches i'm gonna go in the illa masca gel liner and what i'm gonna try to do i've never done this before but i'm trying a new different eyeliner technique i kind of want to go for like a really thick wing i want it to basically start from the middle of my eyes rather than bringing my eyeliner all the way inside so i want it to be like this you know just like blend into my lashes and i want this bit to go like super thick I've never done this eyeliner before, but I feel like I need to change it out with my eyeliner because it looks so similar all the time. So I basically want this bit to be super thin, and then I'm trying to go really, really thick right on the outer corners. I'm going to try wing this out. Not straight across, but like a little bit coming up a bit. I want it to be smoky on the outer corner and then leave that bright bit on the inner corner to really pop. I feel like when you put the lashes, it'll just like make the look. So I'm going to go in with Dull Lashes in the style Esmeralda. And these are only £10 as well. So super affordable, really nice and fluffy. Okay, so my lashes are on. They are not as fluffy as what I thought they would be. And a bit maybe too natural for this look. But anyways, they're on now. <laughs> Can't do nothing about it. So I'm going to go in with some lip liner. This is from Morphe. It's called Honeymoon. I love that pop of the lip liner. It's just so... Satisfying. Just gonna lie my lips just a little bit. And then I also received that this little parcel from Fenty Beauty. Look how cool this packaging is. It's like a little hexagon and then you roll it. Oh my god. So they just released some new lipsticks and these are so cute. Look at the bullet. It's just so cool and futuristic. Okay, so I'm gonna use this shade called Thick. It's got two C's, so it has to be that like thick. 
I wish she came out with more nudes. The colour she brings out is like cute, but it's like, who's gonna wear that green damn lipstick, you know? The formula of this is so lovely, by the way. So this is what the lip looks like just by itself, but I feel like I wanna go a bit more glossy. So I received this little lip bundle from Peaches and Cream as well, which is so cute. It's a little lip gloss set. This is a really cool set. I think they have a set that's a bit darker and it's got more darker nudes in here, but I love that this is all like peachy kind of nudes. It's definitely my vibe. So I'm gonna go in with Sisterhood, which is this lighter shade right here. Okay, I'm gonna take my finger rather than put this directly on my lips. Mmm, smells like candy. This colour just makes it a bit, a bit more milkier, so it's a bit more nude. Okay, I'm gonna take out my hair. So I just take out that clip. So it just kind of gives it a bit of like a wave at the end, which is exactly what I wanted. It has created a little kink here, but it doesn't matter too much. But I just want mainly the ends to have like a little swishy swish. And then that's the other side. Yeah, so no heat at all. The ends look like I've curled it. And my hair is so long and so thick, it will take so long to curl. So ain't nobody got no time for that girl. Do you guys believe me when I used to say that I used to sleep in these as well? Like, I used to sleep with the sleeping rollers, the spongy ones. So you have to do this when your hair is like 95% dry. Ow, 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 ow. And then I just fluff my hair. And then I just use a product from Bumble and Bubble. It's called the Dry Spun Finishing Spray. And then I basically just spray this all over my hair to give it more bounce. It basically makes your hair look super thick, super full, separates it a bit so it's not as like heavy and stuck together. And it's even nice if you just leave like this, it's just nice and like fluffy and gives a nice like shroop de shroop. You know the old school Kim Kardashian like bangs, you know? Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial, little chatty get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like this eyeshadow is so bold. I literally went into another room and oh my god, the eyeshadow was just twinkling like mad. It was so, so pretty. Let me show you guys my hair. I've got a black jumper, as you guys probably won't be able to see, but it's super nice and like fluffy. A lot of times I don't want it to look like I've done my hair. Does that make sense? Like whenever I want my hair curly, I never want it ringlety. I just want it like, oh, I woke up with this, you know? And there's no damage to your hair at all as well. So I hope you guys like this kind of like proper get ready with me from start to finish. Me and Grant are gonna head out to a little date night now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't followed me on all my other social media platforms yet, it's just X Tweely or Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, enjoy the bloopers. Oh my god, I just fucking... Ah! Oh, we have a visitor. Hello, Coco. Even though it's past Christmas now, he's still got his little jumper on. It's a little Rudolph. Ah! Fuck it up, Nicky, fuck it up. Yes, sniff that ass. Ass, ass.